Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm out here in Leeds and I'm delighted to be joined by the man himself, Gary Cully. Gary, it seems we used to talk to each other all the time years and years ago. Now it's like passing ships in the night, man. We don't speak to each other anymore. Yeah, I don't know if we're busy or you've got big-headed. You've got you've outgrown me or something. I know you're in Saudi all the time and all these big shows, you know what I mean? But, uh, nah, it's good to be good to be chatting, good to be back um, in Leeds for the first time. Um, looking forward to getting in there on Saturday night and going to work. Well, you're going to go to work against a very, very tough opponent. An opponent that's been in there, I think, two fights ago with Keyshawn Davis. So a good yard stick to see where you're at, especially in these sort of divisions, whether it be lightweight or light welterweight. But, yeah, Francisco Patera, tough, game, durable, can stick around. What, kind, what type of fight are you expecting here? Yeah, most definitely. Um, he's experienced. He's been around the block a number of times, two-time European champion, high-level competitor, just fought Keyshawn Davis, as you said. Um, 30... Five, 34 fights I think this is his 35th fight on a Saturday night, night so he knows his way around um, it's a tough fight for me a tough test for me and that's kind of why we looked at this sort of fight because uh, when you reach a certain a certain level they're the, they're the fights you need to be taking I'm, I'm at that level now um, there's no stepping back I want to challenge for major titles and, and go on to fight for European and world titles so these are the fights I need to be taking I need to be winning to, to be doing that Obviously, a couple of fights ago in Dublin, you lost against Lopez. He came back and got a solid win, a very, very solid win against Rhys Mould. Now, what, kind of, what, where are you at right now in terms of your preparation and the way you're going to approach this fight? Because people were, you're on a high and then it dipped, but now you're coming back up again. You're trying to climb them that ladder again to get back to where you were. So how's your preparation been for this fight? Yeah, I've got something to prove again, mm. I think. Um, I've been back in that mindset where people kind of ripped me off a little bit after the Felix defeat and then come back, not my best performance again, Mould, but I jumped straight back in there against another high-level fighter in Mould. Um, Mould's a good fighter. Um, I think that could be the difference between myself and, and Patera on Saturday night is he took a loss against Keyshawn Davis two fights ago and then come back and fought two guys that was like six wins and 14 losses and loads of stoppages and stopped two guys, but I jumped straight back in there, straight back into the deep end in the same uh, same arena, sold out arena in my hometown and jumped right back in there in a pressure situation. So I've been I've been dealing with them high pressure situations. I know how to deal with them at this stage of my career. I'm experienced and um, preparation has went really well. Back in Nice at home with Noel, who I've been with since I'm 10 years old. And uh, we put in a really good camp. So like I say, I'm looking forward to getting in and showing all the experience that I've gained over the past 12 months. Well, I noticed that, um, that you haven't been in Liverpool with Joe, so I was going to say I put two and two together and said that you've moved back home with now because I've seen, I follow you on Instagram, I've seen your training, your camp leading up to this fight, it's all been in Nace at Unit 3, I think it is, with now. So, the reasoning behind that? Who I've been with from the very start, I think uh, Liverpool served its purpose for me. I needed to be there at a certain point in my career to get over a certain point in my career and in my life and that shit period. Um, that I was going through that loss to overcome that defeat and get back to winning ways. Liverpool serve its purpose for that. The lads in Liverpool are great, nothing but love for them over there. Um, but the time was right to, to go back home and I've always seen my future being with Niall and winning world titles and European titles together. Um, we've always dreamt of that, we've been on this journey together and I feel like it was something that I missed when I was in Liverpool in the last camp. Um, was was that, that sort of culture that me and Niall have created in Unitry and that, that hard work and that work ethic that we've been uh, that he's instilled in me since I've been a kid. So um yeah, I'm looking I'm looking forward to getting in and showing what we've been doing in the gym. Um it's one of them I believe we've been working towards one of them solid I won't say old school but original diva performances that got me on the map back in the day. Um them Belmedi Flores performances, them Joe Fitzpatrick Irish total performances, them big explosive performances. Um, we put in a good camp and uh, I'm looking forward to getting in and showing what we've been we've been working on. How is Niall feeling? Because I know this will be his first time in the corner as head coach. I know he's been in there with Pete, with Pete Taylor around the rest of them. I know he's been in your corner for these big fights, but to be the main man in that corner, his first one against a tough opponent in Patera, I mean, how is he feeling going into this? It's a high pressure situation, but I believe he's built for shit like this. Um, he's been on TV shows back home, uh, Special Forces, Ultimate Hell Week, he's passed them. Um, 
Niall knows all about the high pressure situations. He knows how to deal with the high pressure situations. So this is going to be nothing new to him. When I'm in the trenches in camp and we're going through them hard sessions on the hills, or he does it with me. He's instilled this, this hard work on me since I've been a kid and he knows exactly how to get down in the trenches as well. So he knows what he's doing. He's no, uh, no stranger to high pressure situations. I believe that he's always had the potential to be the number one and the, the head coach obviously he was lacking a bit of experience there when he was number two to P for a number of years and then when I moved to Liverpool was number two under Joe then so he's gained that experience two sold out three arena gigs in Dublin and um, gained that experience as the number two now it's time for him to step up and uh, show that he's he's where he's at as well and show that we are where we are as a team as well so I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to, to showing what we we can uh, produce. You mentioned their old school diva, the explosive diva performances, the ones I witnessed when at the Ulster Hall, I've witnessed that, that, that Gary Cully, the diva, I've witnessed that fighter. Now, what can we expect on Saturday night? I mean, 11,000 people, the leads, they know they're boxing, it's going to be live on the zone, you're up high up on the card as well, I believe, so what can we expect from Gary Cully? Explosive performance, exciting performance. My last performance wasn't as exciting as I usually am. The performance before I lost because I was probably trying to be too exciting but this is going to be uh, calculated, mature, patient, but exciting and uh, explosive, like I say. And, and when the time when the time comes to when I land that shot and, and the, the time comes that that left hand lands on his chin, I believe that I'll get him out of there. Yeah, I'm a coffee man. You know that flat white extra shot. Now, yep, extra shot. Got to take that. It's got to have a little bit extra kick in it for me. Yeah, flat white extra shot. How's uh, how's your coffee shop? Does it deal with good coffee? Is it good coffee the best in Ireland? It's like the fighter, the best in Ireland, the best in the world. Um, now the Diva Coffee Co is going well, um, running really well. Happy with how it's going. Um, loads of ideas and looking forward to getting back and, and learning a bit more about the coffee industry when I get back after this camp. But uh, now nah, it's been going really well and we have uh, we've good coffee, but we need to get you down to test it to, to, to give it a good... I'm uh, the best coffee taster on the planet, believe me. Review for sure. We need a review from you for sure. So... Uh, I'll do it. Don't worry. Listen, next time I'm in Ireland, 100%, no matter where I am in Ireland, I'll make sure I'll be, I'll be going to the Diva Coffee Co. So Diva Co, what's it called? Diva Coffee Co. Diva Coffee Co, I was right the first time. Right, Gary, pleasure to speak to you, big man. Have fun at this press conference. I'll see you at the way in tomorrow, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.